Wagwan, everybody. I am your Jamaican queen, Miss Y. You are tuned into How I See It TV, and this is Why Caught Alive. And y'all, I caught another good Letitia Sweetie Lunsford Live. But before we get into the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And at the end, please leave a comment so that I know how you see things too. So y'all, I am new to the YouTube streets, right? And so many of you may not know that I used to be a huge fan of Love and Marriage Huntsville. I still watch the show, but... I don't feel like the storylines have been as real as they used to be, like in season one, season two, and season three. But I do like the Love and Marriage Huntsville that plays out on YouTube, where there are lots of content creators that I follow or I'm subscribed to who are bringing us the real, real reality of the cast um we're talking about the cast members who are liars scammers and fraudsters and maybe i should say allegedly but i subscribe to one content creator trending at some point and she is reading through the positions and stuff so i don't feel like i need to say allegedly okay um but Carlos King, he never addresses all these information that keeps coming out about his cast, right? And the star of his show, Dr. Melody Sheree Rogers, we will address her correctly here, is someone I admire. She pitched the show. She was part of casting it. She's one of the main reasons why I still stick around and watch some of the episodes sometimes. I admire her for her drive and her strength, her business acumen. Um, Melody is surely standing on big business. Okay? And if you follow me on Twitter or you've browsed my earlier videos here on YouTube, you would know that I am Team Melody. And with that said, some months ago, it was revealed by someone named Carson Blue, who had a quick cameo on, on the show this season. She revealed, and then it was confirmed by Melody on her IG Live, that her ex-husband, Martel Holt, threatened and was allegedly plotting to release an intimate tape of her, right? He then went on to Queen Sheba's YouTube channel, and during an interview with her, he admitted that he did threaten Melody, that he would release this tape right? And this was months ago. This has been said. And to date, Carlos King, he goes on his YouTube channel and he talks about everything under the sun. He talks about every reality show that you can think of, especially the Bravo ones. And he talks about all the issues on those shows and what needs to be fixed and whose storyline isn't good and who's lying and blah, blah, blah. But he doesn't address the foolishness that's happening on his show, Love and Marriage Huntsville. And he hasn't addressed any of the receipts that has been dropped about former castmates or present castmates, right? And... To date, he has still not said a word. We're talking about in this era of let's protect black women, in this Me Too era, he has yet to come on his YouTube channel and address 
the fact that the ex-husband of one of the stars of his hit series has admitted that he was on some get back, he was on some revenge, and he was going to release Revenge P on his ex-wife. Carlos has not addressed that in any shape or form. He hasn't even hinted at it, right? But every Monday, he's on YouTube with Dr. Heavenly, and I like Carlos. I feel like he's produced some good TV, right? And maybe now after I say this, he'll never work with me, but I digress. But he's down to his YouTube along with Dr. Heavenly, and they talk crazy-ish about Dr. G's new wife, Letitia Sweetie Lunsford. He's called her thirsty. He said that, you know, she definitely watched Married to Medicine. And I mean, who cares at this point? She's on the show. But they sit on YouTube and he is kiki keying with Dr. Heavenly, talking mad-ish and shading Letitia while still not addressing things going on with the cast of his own show. Because Love and Marriage Huntsville is aired on own the own network, right? So tonight, Letitia Sweetie Lunsford, she went live. She was on live for a while, but I only caught close to the end. And I decided that I was going to ask her what her thoughts are on the fact that Carlos King has a lot to say about her. He keeps commenting about her, but he hasn't addressed the fact that Marta Holt admitted that he did threaten to release Revenge P on his ex-wife, Melody Cherie. And guys, I'm glad that I hit that record button for this Y Car Alive because Letitia read my comment and she replied and this is what she had to say y'all i was getting ready to get off because tisha tied okay what are your thoughts on carlos king coming on you but you have shared no comments on the fact that martel admitted he threatened to release revenge porn on his ex-wife melody okay um no i think that carlos king should definitely address that instead of having these little messy Mondays with um, Heavenly and worried about somebody else's show. I, I definitely think you need to be worried about what's going on over there and make sure your people are taken care of. So that's it, y'all. That's what Letitia had to say. And it was short, spicy, and right to the point. And she's correct. Carlos King needs to be worried about the things happening on his show. He needs to be worried about taking care of his people. I'm waiting for him to address this situation. A lot of people on YouTube have been saying the same thing. That he needs to address this revenge P scandal for want of a better word so let's see if when we get to the reunion he'll finally say something so thank you all for watching another why caught alive video i am so just thankful for all the support my channel has been receiving so far remember to please like and subscribe and if you feel like my content needs some crowd or some more crowd please share leave a comment so i know how you see things too and until my next video walk good bye